in this video we are going to solve a transportation problem by using Ogle's approximation method I have already explained how to solve a transportation problem by using northwest corner rule and least cost method you could find the link for that videos in the description below now we have to solve an initial basic feasible solution to the following transportation problem by using VAM method. Okay. So in this problem we have three origins O1, O2, O3 and four destinations D1, D2, D3 and D4 and we have a cost matrix and also we have supply and demand values is given. So before proceeding the problem first we will check whether it is balanced or unbalanced. So first we will calculate the supply values. So the supply total is 6 plus 1 plus 10 so that is 17 and demand so 7 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 so it should be 17. So both are equal therefore it is balanced transportation problem. Now we have to solve this by Vogel's approximation method. So here we have a few steps for solving that Ogle's approximation method. So in that step 1 we have to find the difference between the two least cost in each row and in each column and step 2 among these differences we have to select the largest value. So in this problem we have to find the row differences and column differences. So first we have to write the row differences so we have to find the difference between the two least value in each row so that is row difference similarly we have to find the difference between two least value in each column that is that is column wise that is column difference so step 1 is we have to select two least value in each row and in each column so first consider first row so in that first row we have four values that is 2 3 11 and 7 so we have to consider the two least values that is 3 and 2 so find the difference between these two values so 3 minus 2 that is 1 so this is the row difference so I have written the value 1 here next move on to the second row second row we have 1 0 6 and 1 so we have to consider two least values so least values are 1 and 0 so find the difference between these values so 1 minus 0 that is again 1 next move on to the third row third row least values 8 and 5 so if you subtract 8 minus 5 that is 3 Similarly, you have to find the column difference. So first consider first column. That first column we have three values 2, 1, 5. So the least values are 2 and 1. So find the difference. So 2 minus 1 that is 1. Move on to second column. Least values are 3 and 0. So the difference is 3 minus 0 that is 3. next move on to the third column 11 6 15 so the least values are 11 and 6 so the difference is 11 minus 6 that is 5 next move on to the last row 7 1 9 the least values are 7 and 1 so the difference is 6 So we find the differences next step 2 is among these differences we have to select the largest value. Next step 3 make allotment to the chosen least cost cell. Okay. So among the differences we have to select the largest value. 
so the difference values are 1 1 3 and here 1 3 5 and 6 so the largest value is 6 so we have to select the 6 so this corresponding column we have to consider the least value okay so least value is 1 so our first allotment should be at this place okay so i repeat first we have to consider the least values in each row and in each column so we have to find the difference and we have to write it as row difference and column difference after this we have to find the largest value so here largest value is 6 that corresponds to the d4 column so in this column we have to consider the least value so the least value is 1 now you have to consider corresponding demand and supply so the demand value is 2 supply value is 1 so minimum is 1 so we have to write one here again using this value allocation value we have to subtract demand and supply so 1 minus 1 that is 0 and 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 that is 1 okay so after this demand value is 1 supply value is 0 here so we have zero in the supply value so this allotment satisfies the supply so we have to cancel this corresponding row okay next again you have to find the row difference with the remaining values okay so first consider first row in that first row we have 2 3 11 and 7 so the least values are 2 and 3 the difference is that is 3 minus 2 that is 1 and in the second row all the values got cancelled so we don't have values so therefore no difference and in the last row least values are 5 and 8 so the difference is 3 that is 8 minus 5 that is 3 next move on to the column difference so we have only two values right 2 and 5 just subtract and write the values so 5 minus 2 3 and 8 minus 3 5 left 15 minus 11 4 and 9 minus 7 that is 2 so again you have to select the largest value among these differences so the differences are row wise 1 and 3 column wise 3 5 4 and 2 so the largest value is 5 so now you have to select this value so this corresponds to column d2 so in the d2 column we have only two values 3 and 8 you have to consider the least value so the least value is 3 so our next allotment should be at this place now you have to consider the corresponding demand and supply so demand is 5 supply is 6 so minimum is demand value that is 5 so we have to allocate that 5 here now using that allocation value we have to subtract demand and supply so 5 minus 5 0 6 minus 5 that is 1 so here demand value is 0 so this allotment satisfies the demand requirement so we have to cancel this whole column because demand is zero next again you have to find the row difference and column difference again move on to first row in that first row we have only three values 2 11 7 so the least values are 7 and 2 so difference is 7 minus 2 that is 5 already second row cancelled so we don't have difference and in the last row we have 5 15 and 9 so minimum is 9 and 5 so 9 minus 5 that is 4 
Next column wise, so consider first column. We have only two values, two and five. So the difference is three. Already second column got cancelled, so we don't have difference. In the third column, fifteen and eleven, so difference is four. And in the last column, difference is two. Now we have to select the largest value among these differences. So first row difference is five and four, column difference is three, four, and two. So the maximum one is five. So this row difference five. This is the largest value. We have to consider the corresponding row that is O one. In this row, we have to consider the least value. So the least value is two. So our next allotment should be at this place. So corresponding demand and supply, that is demand is seven and supply is one. So we have to write the minimum value here, that is one. So supply one minus one, this should be zero, and demand seven minus one is six. Here supply value is zero, so this allotment. Satisfies the supply requirement, so we have to cancel this corresponding row. Next, again we have to find the difference, but here we have only one row, so we'll directly allocate the values. Um, first, we consider the minimum one. So first, if I consider this five, because we have only three values, right? Five, fifteen, and nine. Out of these three, minimum is five. So next allotment should be at this place. So the corresponding demand is six and supply is ten. So minimum is six. So just write six here. So six minus six zero and ten minus six is four. So the demand value is zero. So we have to cancel this corresponding column. Next, we have only two values, fifteen and nine. The least value is nine. So next allotment at this place. So the demand and supply. So demand is one, supply is four. Minimum is one. So we have to write one here. So this one zero and four minus one will become three. Now we have only one value, that is fifteen. So now we have to allot at this place. So demand and supply both are three. So we have to write three here. So after this, three minus three will become zero, and this supply value is also zero. So after this, we have to cancel corresponding because both supply and demand zero, right? So we have to cancel corresponding row and column. So already this will become zero, so we have to cancel this also. So after this, we have to check whether all the supply and demand are exhausted. See here we have zero. Both all the three supply values are zero. Similarly, all the four demand values are zero. So now we have to calculate the transportation cost value. So transportation cost value is we have to multiply the number of units shipped from origin to destination into the cost price. So first in the first cell, uh, we have one. That is number of units shipped into cost prices two, so one into two plus in the second cell we have five and three, so five into three plus and next we have here one into one. Next in the last row, six into five plus three into fifteen plus one into nine. Now we have to multiply all the values and add it. So two plus fifteen plus one plus thirty plus forty-five plus nine. So the total is one hundred two. So this is the total transportation cost value. Thank you.